Hi folks, had a challenge with a student and they were unable to get signal uh, using their Wi-Fi hotspot provided by the school district. So I came up with an idea, why not make a stand that has an antenna in it? So I made this uh, stand and we're going to cover this and uh, if you want to make one I will have the uh, parts downloadable on Thingiverse soon and I'll make sure that once I have the parts uploaded into Thingiverse that you'll be able to download for free and I'll put the link in probably within a day or two of this video being posted. What is this thing? Well, it's a signal booster to go from the hotspot to the cell tower. Okay, the problem, students got a hotspot, no signal, or reduced signal strength, always dropping out of zoom, for example. They can't turn on their video because they'll drop out of zoom. They're unable to attend a remote class, and they're unable to connect to the internet so they can't do their lessons in, for example, Google Classroom. Testing methodology. Testing was implemented in a completely sterile environment, devoid of any outside interference. Strict, rigorous conformity with all the rules and regulations of pseudoscience were applied. So during the exhaustive one minute test, no form of music, streaming, or other video stimulation occurred. No food or beverage other than an Izzy peanut butter filled pretzels, Cheez-Its were allowed during the process and the door remained closed to the laboratory the entire time during the analysis. Testing. Place a hotspot on a test surface in front of a metal object. I just put mine in front of my 3D printer. Not scientific. Connect to a laptop. Um, yeah, turn it on basically. Connect it to a laptop, the hotspot itself, and try to find random websites. Observe the speed of web browsing. Place a hotspot on a desk stand and continue to look for random websites. I was able to get mine, uh, my hotspot down to like one bar. Again, not scientific, but that's what happened. Okay, the results. It actually worked. When I put my hotspot on a stand in a similar location on my desk, it worked. Did it work for the correct reason? I'll be honest with you, I don't know enough physics to answer that one. It may have worked for the wrong reason because now it's sitting in a different position, raised above the desk and with less interference. Uh, I was able to get full bars. It was it was strange. So that was with placing the hotspot in the cradle. cradle. So I do just want to make that disclaimer. Yes, it worked. Uh, yeah, I, I can't argue the physics of it though. Okay, so the design. I believe in modularity. So uh, I have a separate antenna and base. And the plan is, I probably won't, but the plan is this, uh, the antenna part can snap into other stuff. So if you want to make a pencil holder or something like that, it, you know, you could just print the back part and snap it on the back of a pencil holder and get maybe the same results. Um, the base uh, is wall mountable. It's got 50 um, millimeter spacing between the holes in the back. I've got holes all the way through it. So you could fish the cord through the, the holder for the Wi-Fi hotspot. And there's holes in the bottom so the cord can go through also to kind of get it out of the way. Um, yeah. Okay, so this was designed for uh, printing the two parts in different ways. So you're going to print the big part on the side. It'll fit, I think, on a printer that's just under 150 millimeters. So that, that's a lot of printers that we open up to. Uh, no bridging. No uh, supports. The holes in it uh, do not require, um, you don't have to do anything, no brim or anything. You just print it on the side, that's important. And then you print the back side flat. Okay, the wire antenna. Uh, you're gonna need two strands of thin copper wire. Bigger is not better, just two little strands, one or two even. How long? Um, approximately one meter or one yard, just approximately. And I just, I you know, you have, I have old power supplies, get one from a neighbor or something, and you can check thingiverse.com to find a 3D printable wire stripper if you don't want to take the time just use a razor blade and cut through the wires and trim them up. Okay here are the basic instructions. Print the base on its side. Then print the antenna back. Um, at regular quality three hours. If you really know what you're doing with the printer you could probably do them in an hour. Um, then you're gonna get one or two strands of wire from a power supply or somewhere fold the wires in half is the next step. I'll show you that. Then you're going to fish the wire into an antenna slot and I'll show you how to do that and then you test it. See if it works. Okay, here's how we do the wire. So you're going to take, let's say, two thin pieces of wire about a meter long. Then you're going to kind of twist them a little bit and then you fold it in half. Notice that you have the, that arrow points to kind of where the middle of the fold is. That's the part that you're going to fish in the top and use tape if needed. Just get some uh, clear tape and I'll show you in a picture. 
Okay, now take a look here. You may want to pause. I don't know. You can see that I've started. I've taped on the top. You start fishing from the top, and you can see the wire kind of coming out, and I'm using my knife to kind of force it into the little slot. The slot actually has a channel in it that should hold it down, and hopefully in the future I'll update the channel a little better. And here we have the finished product. Notice I use tape. Also, oh, notice I have keys. There's a circle and a square. Those are keys so that when you put this on the back of the stand, it actually goes in a very specific position. And once you're done, you just snap the back on. And that's it. It should magically work. No batteries or anything, if it does work. And I think it actually does. It did work for me. It went from one bar to full bars. Um, and I was able to web browse using an actual Windows PC over the hotspot. Um, I want to thank uh, a guy on a website called Homemade Designs. I don't know who he is, but um, basically he used tape and kind of made this antenna and had a partial design. And I took that design and refined it into an antenna that I thought would be uh, more accurate and would work better. Thank you, folks. And look on Thingiverse for the download files. Uh, they will be up within a few days of the posting of this video. Uh, search for time for prune juice and thingiverse and i'll uh, make sure that i have the link in here later bye